I got a 41 year old male uh, who fell off the uh, scaffold on the Verizon Bridge. First time I go with the Just another day inside the emergency room at Staten Island Hospital. A staff of doctors and nurses rushing to the bedside of an injured man who just got into a car accident at the Verrazano Bridge. But take a closer look. This patient undergoing anesthesia isn't human at all, but actually a mannequin. We basically, the, the goal is we try to make, we try to simulate exactly what happens in real life. And then the, the purpose of it is to look for areas of improvement. It's the latest training tool in modern medicine. Unsuspecting doctors get called to the ER only to find a mannequin lying on the hospital bed. But let me tell you, these mannequins are pretty lifelike. Seemingly blinking, breathing, talking, Look bleeding, even giving birth. If only it was this easy in real life. <laughs> That's Victoria, who just gave birth to this infant. But wait a minute, Man, something's not right. The baby oh. is turning blue. It's critical situations like this making doctors prepared for the worst, especially in the ER, where oftentimes you have doctors who don't regularly work in the field they're catering to. And research tends to agree, according to the Institute of Medicine, 44,000 to 98,000 deaths annually are recorded due primarily to medical mistakes. But similar training is said to be improving these outcomes in numerous medical specialties. But I had to ask, do doctors really take it seriously when they see a mannequin lying on the hospital bed? And actually, everybody responded, yes. This is a mannequin. You, he can die. It's okay. Nothing bad happens. It's not a patient. If you're going to make a mistake, this is the place to make your mistake. But Diana, this was a real life situation. So yes. you had to leave the ER because a real patient came in. Right, a patient right? came in with the exact so scenario that I explained to you at the beginning. A guy got into a car accident at the Verrazano Bridge, and they've had a lot of instances like this where people have, you know, they, they've done similar trainings where a leg had to be amputated, and next thing you know, they have a patient coming in who had that exact scenario. So doctors have to pay so much money for insurance to protect themselves, and this really prepares them. What happens when the mannequins become self-aware? Yeah.